Magnesium chloride is a chemical with a range of uses, including as a fertilizer and a land stabilizer. In 1913, Wilson entered into a contract with tenants for the supply of a large amount of magnesium chloride. Tenants were wholesalers, so tenants didn't manufacture the magnesium chloride themselves. They obtained it from other sources. The contract included a clause which said, Deliveries may be suspended pending any contingencies beyond the control of the sellers or buyers, such as war, causing a short supply of labour, fuel, raw material or manufactured produce, or otherwise preventing or hindering the manufacture or delivery of the article. The dominant country for the manufacture of magnesium chloride was Germany, and this is where tenants obtained most of their supply. In August of 1914, however, war broke out between England and Germany. As a result, it was illegal in England to trade with Germany. Tenants then wrote to Wilson suspending the deliveries under the contract. Germany wasn't the only supplier of magnesium chloride, and so tenants were able to obtain some supplies, but at massively increased prices and never enough to satisfy all of their contracts, certainly not at the contracted price. But because there was a supply, Wilson sued, saying that the deliveries should not have been suspended because performance was possible. However, the clause in the contract said that deliveries could be suspended if supply was prevented or hindered by causes such as war. Supply of magnesium chloride had clearly not been prevented if there were alternative sources, but had it been hindered? The House of Lords, by a six to one majority, said yes. Lord Atkinson said the appellants could not, on and after August 4, 1914, trading with Germany having become illegal and impossible, have obtained at any price enough of the chemical to have fulfilled the 16 contracts already mentioned. A contingency had on that day arisen, which both parties to this contract must obviously have foreseen would, as in fact it did, hinder, if not entirely prevent, the delivery by the applicants according to their usual course of business to their customers of the quantities purchased by the latter. This case teaches us that a force majeure clause, a clause that suspends or ends a contract in the case of a disaster, can protect a party from the duty to meet its obligations under a contract. Mm -hmm.